good morning friends this is mr k ratnakumar kvs jtet bhuneswar presents electromagnetic induction lens law learning units learning objectives are at the end of the session the children will be able to define describe explain illustrate and understanding the given learning units the following learning units are number 1 lens law number 2 illustration of lens law first and uh, illustration of lens law second and the conservation of energy on lens law then demo on lens law then fleming's right hand rule let us see about this uh, lens law so this lens law it is in the electromagnetic induction it is so about the direction of the induced current or the induced emf let me see that a german physicist henrich lenz performed his own experiment on electromagnetic induction and deduced a law to determine the direction of the induced current this law is known as lenz law so here we have learned that the statement given is that the law is giving the direction of the induced current or the induced emf let us see that lenz law state that the direction of the induced current is such that it always opposes the cause responsible for its production next faraday discovered that when magnetic flux linked with the coil changes we have learned that magnetic flux means the number of magnetic magnetic lines of force crossing per unit area held at that point so here the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes and electric current is induced in the circuit here the flux changes is the cause while the ind induction of current is the effect lenz law says that the effect always opposes the cause therefore the induced current would flow in a direction so that it could oppose the flux changes so when the flux is changing then only the induced current will be produced it opposes the incoming current to understand lenz law let us consider the two illustrations in which we find the direction of the induced current in a circuit illustration 1 consider a uniform magnetic field with its field lines perpendicular to the plane of the paper and pointing inward these field lines are represented by cross that is int mark as shown in the figure a rectangular metallic frame let us take a b c d is placed in this magnetic field with its plane perpendicular to the field the arm ab is movable so that it can slide towards right or left if the arm ab slide to our right the number of magnetic lines passing through the frame a b c d increases so the number of magnetic lines per uh, area is nothing but called uh, magnetic flux and the current induced as suggested by the lenz law the induced current opposes this flux increases and it tries to reduce its by producing another magnetic field pointing outwards that is opposite to the existing magnetic field the magnetic lines of this induced field are represented by the red colored circles in see that from the direction of the magnetic field thus produced 
the direction of the induced current is found to be anti clockwise by using right hand thumb rule so right hand thumb rule like it the thumb will show that direction of the current the remaining fingers will show that the direction of the magnetic lines of land force produce it let us observe this diagrams a b and c first one no current why because the frame is not moved the frame is kept in the man field though it is not moved so no current the perpendicular inward second uh, b diagram tells about the the small movement and uh, that is in case of the man man will perpendicular to outward first case is inward outward and second one and the frame is moved towards in inside so when there is a movement of the inside or outward then only it can, it can produce the uh, emotional or emotional emf the leftward motion of an arm ab decreases magnetic flux when you are moving the arm it decreases the magnetic flux the induced current this time produces a magnetic field in the inward direction red cross causes that is in the direction of the existing magnetic field when you see the previous one you can see that the leftward motion of the arm ab decreases this we have seen then let's we go to the next one so in this case observe that uh, it's a bar magnet is moved towards the coil the coil is the nothing but solid knot joined with the galvanometer the galvanometer is the instrument to show the deflection in the small current introduce it so here no motion may there won't be any change center may have okay see the pointer of the galvanometer in the pictorial illustration and uh, here the repulsion between coil and magnet when you are moving towards the coil so the repulsion take place the deflection in the right hand side the next case when moving away the bar magnet is moving away from the setup of the galvanometer so attraction between the coil and the magnet needle turns the opposite side so this is the second illustration of the lenz law let us uh, move a bar magnet towards the solenoid with its north pole pointing threshold as shown in figure this motion increases the magnetic flux of the coil which in turn induces an electric current due to the flow of induced current the coil become a magnetic dipole whose two magnetic poles are on either end of the coil in this case the cause produces the induced current in the movement of the magnet so you might have all observed in this diagram according to this lenz law the induced current should flow in such a way that it opposes the movement of the north pole towards the coil it is possible if the end nearer to the magnetic magnet becomes north pole then it repels the north pole of the bar magnet and opposes the movement of the magnet once pole is end pole ends are known the direction of the induced current could be found by using the right hand thumb rule when the bar magnet is withdrawn the near and the become the south pole which attracts north pole towards the bar magnet posing the receding motion of the magnet so uh, repulsion that take place the movement of the bar magnet and the deflection how it is a uh, um, right hand side or left hand side that we can understood by this illustration number 2 conservation of law we all know about the conservation means the energy will be neither created or not destroyed it will be transferred from, from the one form to another form the truth of lenz law can be established on the basis of law of conservation so the lenz law comes under the conservation of energy how is that you see the explanation 
is as follows according to the lens law when a magnet is moved either towards or away from the coil the induced current produces opposites opposites its its motion as a result there will always be a resisting force on moving magnet work has to be done by some external agency to move the magnet against this resisting force here the mechanical energy of the moving magnet is converted into the electrical energy which in turns get converted into joules heat in the coil that is energy is converted from one form to another form so the lenz law which obeys the conservation principle or conservation of energy then it uh, the lenz law is comes under the conservation of law of energy on the contrary to lenz law let us assume that the induced current helps the cause responsible for its production now when we push the magnetic little bit towards the coil the induced current helps the movement of the magnet towards the coil then magnet starts moving towards the coil without any expenses of energy this turn this then become a perpendicular motion machine in practice no such machines is possible therefore the assumption that the induced current help as causing the is wrong this one act is small activity if you are taking the uh, demonstration of the lenz law take a narrow copper pipe and a strongly magnetized button magnet you might have seen there so many uh, shapes of the metals are there but you choose one the button magnet as shown in the diagram or the figure keep the copper pipe vertical and drop the magnet magnet into the pipe watch the motion of the magnet and the note that magnet has become slower than its fall then the reason is that an electric current generated by a moving magnet will always oppose the original motion of the magnet that produces the current so oh, you can experience if you have this any of such a metals in your home at present situations uh, we can't ha- have this so that is why it is a simple experiment to understand the lenz law and the next to the lenz law is based on this uh, fleming's right hand rule and this uh, see the diagram the thumb shows you the direction of the force and this is the direction of the current this finger middle finger and the four finger that is the direction of the field magnetic field so all are perpendicular to each other so the movement take place in the direction of the force only so this is called a fleming's right hand rule so when this uh, magnetic field uh, and the induced are perpendicular to each other the, the movement may be the direction of the force and induced current is producing opposite the direction of the motion the thumb index finger and middle finger of right hand stretch out in mutually perpendicular direction as shown in diagram if the index finger points the direction of the magnetic field and the thumb indicates the direction of the motion of the conductor then the middle finger will indicate the direction of the induced current so this is a simple explanation for the understanding the lenz law it lenz law tells about the direction of the induced current or induced emf produced in the circuit fleming's right hand rule is also known as generator rule the importance of electromagnetic induction the application of phenomenon of electromagnetic induction is almost everywhere in the present day life right from home up appliances to huge factory machineries from cell phone to computer and internet from electric guitar to the satellite communication all needs electricity for their operation there is an ever growing demand for electric power all these are met with the help of the electric generator and transformer which function on the electromagnetic induction only 
the modern sophisticated human life would not be possible without the discovery of the electromagnetic induction. And some assignment uh, based on this uh, small topic, define what is, sorry, define uh, Lenz law, describe the illustration of Lenz law, number one, describe illustration number two, Lenz law, state conservation of energy on the basis of Lenz law, state Fleming's right hand rule, and what are the importance of the EMF induction. These are the small topic and you can easily understand, and the one activity small given, you can understand the uh, activity when you are doing. Thank you, thank you for watching. I hope that, that you might have understand the small concept and this concept will make you to clear in all the difficulty level of when you are going through, it will be easily clear and understandable for the further readings.